Well, hello, welcome to a brand new video. What we're gonna be talking about today is some of my favorite fall and winter pieces that I will be wearing on repeat. This is not a haul, this is just a few of my fave things. Actually, two of the pieces are newer additions to my wardrobe, but the rest are things that I just love at this time of year and I can never get enough of. All right, starting with one of the newer pieces, I feel like you can't see it because everything is black. <laughs> my little bucket hat. I think these are so friggin cute and I mean because I live in Canada I like I can never get enough hats during the fall and the winter season because it's just essential. So I, I do have a few that I sort of rotate between that are in various different styles as well because it is such a fun way to, to mix things up. I'm digging it. I really like it. I know not everybody's a fan, but it doesn't matter. So piece number two that I'm gonna be wearing on repeat all season, also just something that I love, love, love all the time. Once again, black, sorry, so hard to see. A good pair of combat boots. Honestly, these are my favorite favorite, favorite, favorite type of footwear for fall slash winter. I love boots that do have a little bit more edge to them. Something that you can wear on a daily basis, something that's comfortable, can be worn casually, but I also do like wearing a pair of combat boots with maybe a skirt or a dress or something like that where you have that more feminine vibe mixed with the edgy vibe. So I tend to get the most wear out of boots like this. So these are actually a newer addition to my wardrobe because the previous pair that I had really bit the dust. <laughs> Just because I wore them every single day, the sole was like completely falling off. They had holes in them already. Boots can take a beating here in Canadian winters with all the salt and all the crap that's just out on the roads. So because I don't want to be wearing boots with a heel, especially in the snow and in the ice. It's just not practical. So you need those like everyday type of boots that you can just slip on and go. And for me, that is a combat boot. Next up would be just a classic sweater. This is one of my thrifted sweaters and I can't get enough of it. I wear this all the time, all year round. And it's something that I wear quite possibly the most during the fall and the winter season because I love layering things underneath it or I mean you could pop an oversized blazer on over top of it as well so very very versatile um, I actually had this one in my 10 by 10 fall wardrobe challenge so you can get an idea of how I mixed mixed it in with that and create a whole bunch of different outfits I mean you can't go wrong with like a classic knit which is this next would be a pair of plaid plant plaid plants plaid plants plaid pants. I love plaid, although I will say I'm not too much of a fan of in-your-face plaid. Not to say that I'm not a fan of it because I can appreciate it and I, I just feel like it's not my style per se and I can appreciate it on other people and how they style it. Yeah, I kind of like the more subtle, subdued plaids, which is very much this. Like you can see, you know, it's just subtly on there and it's a nice little way to mix things up and not wear jeans all the time or not wear solid colors all the time or black pants which is what I tend to just wear a lot of in the fall and the winter. So for me, this is like when I'm really mixing it up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I want to have something that's a little bit different, but not too crazy. That's when I tend to go for these plaid pants. These are super cute paired with a pair of combat boots too. Also very, very versatile. I've worn them dressed up, I've worn them dressed down. And the last thing I thought I would give a hot little mention to is a good camel coat. This is probably my most worn coat during fall slash winter other than when it's extremely cold and then obviously it's my parka which is my most worn coat but this is my most worn non-parka coat so if I want to have something a little bit more dressed up I tend to go for something like this and I've had this for a few years I still think they have this style this is from Aritzia it's the Stedman coat and I think they've had it for the past few seasons so they probably still do have it don't quote me on that but I noticed that they had it for the past couple years because it's just such a friggin classic. I think you can't go wrong with this color. It, once again, it goes with everything. It's like that classic neutral that you can just add and mix in dresses things up a little bit more. It's just where it's at. All right, so those are just a couple of things that I really enjoy wearing a lot of during the cooler seasons and that I find that I tend to turn to the most. I wear on repeat, style in many different ways, and 
things that if they, you know, I do wear the crap out of them that I do end up replacing as well because I cannot live without them. Maybe minus the bucket hat because that's just something fun. But <laughs> um, all of the other pieces, yeah, definitely things that I constantly have going on in my wardrobe and that I love to get all the wear out of during the season. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what are your go-tos. What are some things you can't live without during the fall and the winter? Your staples, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.